Mr. Srivadhanaprabha was one of five people killed when his helicopter exploded into a fireball after nose diving and smashing into a car park next to Leicester's King Power Stadium. The Thai billionaire died alongside assistant Kav Porn Punparan Nursara Seknamai, 33, a former Thai beauty queen who also worked for Leicester's owner. Pilot Eric Swaffer, 53, and his partner and co-pilot Isabella Rosa Lukovic, 46, were also among the five victims. Mr. Swaffer is reported to have steered the 6.6 .6 million pounds helicopter away from crowds on the ground outside the 32,000 capacity stadium, saving hundreds of lives. Leicester City owner's family lay flowers as players arrive outside the King Power Stadium. Image, Reuters, Getty. On Monday morning, Mr. Srivadhanaprabha's grieving wife and son laid a commemorative floral bouquet at the stadium, close to the crash site, with Leicester's players arriving around early Monday afternoon. Meanwhile, investigators from the Air Accidents Investigation Branch, AAIB, have recovered crucial recording data from the crash scene. The AAIB revealed they now found the digital flight data from the crash wreckage on Sunday. Both the voice and date and recorders will now be inspected as investigators try to piece together the final moments before the helicopter crashed. Inspectors expect to remain at the scene all week. Amy Vardy, right, bows his head in mourning next to owner Sunaya Watts Srivadhanaprabha. Image, Mike Egerton, PA Wire, Leicester manager Claude Poole, left pays tribute to club chairman Vichai Srivadhanaprabha. Image, Mike Egerton, PA Wire, 2.50 p.m. update, Leicester manager Claude Poole leads squad tributes at King Power Stadium. Leicester's manager Claude Poole and his squad joined mourners at the crash site on Monday afternoon. Members of the Leicester City first team came out of one of the turnstiles at the King Power Stadium to observe the memorial that has grown since Saturday. Jamie Vardy, Casper Schmeichel, Harry Maguire and other members of the squad solemnly filed around a court and placed next to the huge pile of mourners' tributes. Team, who are all wearing their Leicester City training kit, stood at the back of the shrine, which holds hundreds of flowers, cards and messages. Some players draped their arms around each other's shoulders, with some bowing their heads to pay their respects. Kasabian rocker Tom Meghanum as he mourns with hundreds of other Leicester fans. Image, Mike Egerton, PA Wire, 2.34 p.m. Update, lead singer of rock band Kasabian Tom Meghan, whole world is mourning Kasabian frontman Tom Meghan. Said Leicester City owner Vichai Srivadhanaprabha's death is like losing a family member. The rock star was one of fans and hundreds of mourners who traveled to the King Power Stadium on Monday. Mr. Meghan said, at the minute I'm feeling pretty numb, the football world is numb, not just Leicester City. The whole world is in mourning, Leicester helicopter manufacturer, accident was first ever involving an AW169, image, Tristan Potter, SWNS.com, 2.20 p.m. update, Italian helicopter manufacturer says accident was first ever involving AW169, the Italian aerospace company that built the helicopter involved in Saturday's crash said the tragedy was the first ever accident involving an AW169 helicopter, Leonardo has vowed it is ready to support the AAIB as invest Investigators recovered flight data from the chopper's charred remains. The helicopter is believed to be worth £6.6 .6 million and a 2016 built Augusta Westland AW169, a Leonardo spokesman said. Leonardo was extremely saddened to hear of the fatal accident yesterday evening involving an AW169 helicopter at Leicester City Football Club's stadium. We wish to offer our sincerest condolences to the family and friends of those involved. Leonardo Helicopters is ready to support the AAIB with their investigation. To determine the cause of this accident, this is the first ever accident involving an AW169 helicopter. Leicester City players arrive at the King Power Stadium on Monday. Image, PA, 1.47 p.m. Update, Leicester team arrive at the stadium to honor those killed in Saturday's crash. A coach carrying Leicester's team arrived at the King Power Stadium on Monday afternoon as the players came to pay their respects. The squad traveled from Leicester's training ground, with the youth team following on a separate coach as they made their way into the stadium. 
Crowds gathered around the court and placed at the entrance of the car park to watch the players get off the coach. The Foxes star striker Jamie Vardy took to social media to admit he was struggling to find the right words after the Leicester owner was killed. The England International posted on Instagram, but to me you are a legend, an incredible man who had the biggest heart, the soul of Leicester City Football Club, thank you for everything you did for me, my family and our club. I will truly miss you. May you rest in peace, crash investigators remove helicopters flight date for inspection, image, Tristan Potter, SWNS.com, 1.20 p.m. update, accident investigators uncover crucial black box data from crash scene the air accident investigations branch, AAIB, team at the crash scene is set to examine vital flight data recovered from the crash site. Inspectors have been scouring the site debris and expect to be carrying out their investigations all week. An AAIB statement said, a team of AAIB inspectors and support staff traveled to Leicester on Saturday night with further inspectors traveling yesterday morning. Last night, the police said they believed that tragically all five people on board the aircraft died in the accident. We have inspectors here from all four air accident investigation disciplines, engineering, operations, flight. Data and human factors, we recovered the digital flight data recorder, voice and data, on Sunday afternoon and one of our inspectors traveled back to Farnborough with the recorder the same evening. Today, our inspectors in Farnborough will start working on the recorder, which was subject to intense heat as a result of the post-accident fire. Our inspectors are continuing to work with the police on site. We expect to be here until the end of the week, at which point we will transport the wreckage to our specialist facilities in Farnborough for more detailed examination. In the meantime, we are still gathering evidence as part of our investigation. Leicester City owner's son and wife pay tribute at King Power Stadium. Image, Mike Egerton, PA Wire, 1.10 p.m. Update, Leicester owner's wife and son lay flowers outside stadium. Heartbroken wife and son of Leicester City Chairman Vichai Srivatan a laid a wreath in memory of the Thai billionaire at the King Power Stadium after he was killed along with four others in Saturday's helicopter crash. Devastated son Kunaya Watts Rivadana laid the bouquet outside the King Power Stadium on Monday morning. Mr. Srivadana Prabha's wife, Iman Srivadana Prabha, joined her son as they bowed their heads and prayed close to the site where the eight-seater chopper crashed. The two grieving family members were dressed in black as they arrived at Leicester City's ground. At one point Srivadana Prabha held her hands to get face as she grieved for her dead husband. They spent time looking at hundreds of bouquets spread outside the stadium to honor the Leicester owner and the four other victims of Saturday's tragedy. Prince William, president of DFA, has paid tribute to Mr. Srivadana Prabha. Image, Dave Bennett, Getty Images, 12.45 p.m. Update, Prince William gives emotional tribute to Leicester Chairman. Prince William paid heartfelt tribute to the Leicester owner, saying he felt lucky to have been friends Vichai Srivadana Prabha. The Duke of Cambridge, 36, spoke on Monday to honor his friend after the King Power Stadium tragedy. The eight-seater helicopter carrying Mr. Srivadana Prabha and four others exploded into a fireball after crashing into a car park outside the King Power Stadium just after 8.30 p.m. William praised the Leicester owner, saying, he will be missed by all fans of the sport and everyone lucky enough to have known him.